Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down a strange storm that's forming just off the coast of Florida that could become a tropical storm over the next couple days and make landfall in the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. And we'll first begin with the Southeast United States, which is what we're going to be talking about for most of this forecast forecast. Notice as of right now, there is a huge area of circulation just east of Florida, and this is actually right now a potential tropical cyclone. And the reason why is because it does not have tropical characteristics yet, but it is producing sustained winds of about 40 miles per hour in the center. It is expected to become a tropical storm over the next couple days as it moves to the north, and it is expected to impact a large chunk of the east coast of the United States. Notice right now there's a lot of convection offshore. You'll see a better view of that here in just a moment. The circulation in the center is just just about here so again east of Florida by about a hundred miles or so and this will create some strong winds throughout the day today out of the east and this is going to be because of this low pressure system so if you're right along the coastline of Florida perhaps even Georgia or South Carolina those winds will pick up today upwards of 30 to 45 miles per hour for the rest of the United States we don't have a whole lot of activity elsewhere there is some showers and storms ongoing in the central plains this will ramp up a lot more as we get closer to the weekend as there will be a threat for severe weather perhaps even a severe weather outbreak as we get closer to Saturday so stay tuned on that and make sure to check out yesterday's forecast I talked all about it in that forecast but there will be a chance for severe weather over the next several days southern plains dealing with the same activity some showers and some storms that'll continue throughout the day today and there is a risk for severe weather tonight in parts of north Texas damaging winds large hail and tornadoes and then back over on the west coast of the United States we do have this low pressure system spinning over Nevada that'll be moving over the Rocky Mountains as we go into this weekend and that'll pose a scenario significant threat for severe weather as we go into Saturday. All right, now let's talk more about the tropics here because we have a lot of activity across the Atlantic Ocean. First, beginning with Hurricane Nigel. This is moving off to the north and east. It is not going to impact the United States, and this one is done being talked about after really tonight or tomorrow. Now, in the eastern Atlantic Ocean, we do have another area of development. This will actually be going toward the Caribbean Sea, so we'll have to watch this closely. It has about a 70% chance of developing over the next five days, so will be something to watch for over the long term as it moves directly to the west. All right, here is potential tropical cyclone 16 this is just off the coast of florida and it is going to be moving off to the north over the next several days as it goes towards the carolinas and this is not expected to go right out to sea so there will be impacts here to the united states luckily as of right now it is unlikely that this will get to a hurricane so that is good news even though we have a very primed environment but the problem with this system in particular is that there is a lot of wind shear in addition to the wind shear there's also a, a lot of dry air around this so it's gonna be a really tough road ahead for this system additionally the warm waters that we have in the Gulf of Mexico, for example, aren't nearly as warm in the Atlantic Ocean. So there are some problems with this system. Here's the wide span view of things. So again, here's your area of development over the next five days. This will be going toward the Caribbean Sea. Again, notice the uncertainty area. This could very easily go out to sea. It also could go into the Caribbean Sea, which would be worst case scenario. So we'll have to watch that system very closely as it continues to move to the west. Here's a closer look at potential tropical cyclone 16 again you will really notice this very cool this is a really cool look at this it's the satellite imagery look at this right in here that is your circulation it is so cool to see this because what we're looking at is the center of this potential tropical cyclone it looks really defined by the way there's a nice little circulation there in the middle and that is what we're looking at but you might be wondering why can we see this circulation so perfectly that would be because of the wind shear the wind shear is a really cool factor here notice all the convection here it's all east and north of the center of this which is all because of the wind shear it's so cool to see this i can't stress that enough but this is right now what we're looking at that's the center of potential tropical cyclone 16 and a lot of the time when we have potential tropical cyclones it's because we have a center that has been absolutely exposed i mean this is literally exposed at this point because of this convection going off to the north and east and it's going away from the center because of how strong the wind shear is and it really hinders the overall organization of a, a tropical system at all so it's really kind of a cool thing to see on the satellite imagery this morning all right let's talk more about the track over the next several days and where this will be heading because it will be going off to the north toward the united states so as of right now as of today it is expected to continue to be a potential tropical cyclone all the way through friday morning so organization is unlikely because the wind shear will be staying very strong but as this moves towards the north carolina coastline notice by saturday morning this is likely to be a tropical storm by this point sustained winds probably around 50 to 60 miles per hour is my best guess at this point could it be a little bit higher than that it could be but 
rapid intensification seems very unlikely with the system just due to the environment it's already in and the environment that it will be in going into tomorrow there are tropical storm warnings already in effect across the entire coastline of north carolina and virginia even into areas like maryland so there will be tropical storm impacts there the biggest concern right now will be the heavy rainfall and as well as the flooding potential because right along the coastline a lot of those areas are already going to be forecasted to be in a moderate to even a major flood stage those are the biggest concerns the wind will be a little bit concerning maybe some isolated power outages but it wouldn't be anything widespread unless the winds really got up there which as of right now they're not really expected to Notice as we go off to the north into like Saturday into Sunday, this is going to start to weaken into a tropical depression. From here, where does this go? Well, we really don't know yet. There's a large code of uncertainty, but it's more likely than not there will at least be impacts to the east coast. Will there be impacts back up in New England? That is kind of to be determined. There will likely be at least some in southern New England, whether it's more of a coastal threat or maybe even a little bit of rainfall in inland, but we'll have to watch this closely again as it moves off to the north. It is a bit uncertain what happens really past Saturday. In terms of storm surge, this is another big concern as well we'll be watching for two to four feet of storm surge going into saturday this is for lower chesapeake bay all the way back through the pamelico sound that'll be the area to watch for from surf city north carolina back in areas of maryland one to three feet even possible near the district of columbia and also near the south sante river in south carolina back through surf city north carolina up to three feet of storm surge will be possible so make sure you're taking the proper precautions if you're in those areas in terms of the rainfall there is a good chance that a lot of the areas especially along the coast line we'll at least see somewhere around two to five inches of rain especially near wilmington and back through areas like the north carolina coastline that'll be where the heaviest of the rainfall falls but we're still watching for a couple inches anywhere in that dark shaded green region which goes all the way through richmond uh, virginia and as well as back into areas like new jersey so that'll be a pretty large area to watch for again the computer balls are all over the place with the long-term track of this it very well could go legitimately anywhere it could even go west uh, but even if it went west again we wouldn't be really talking about tropical storm impacts at that point here's the intensity guide only a few computer models on this but notice again there's a chance that this gets to a category one hurricane it would be a pretty low chance though right now i don't think this gets there but again there could be some rapid intensification so it will be something to watch for over the next several days Here's the future radar. Notice we'll be watching for impacts as early as Friday morning across the Carolina coast. That's tomorrow. So make sure you're watching this very closely because this will already be impacting you by tomorrow. It is not expected to make landfall though anytime really on Friday. If it were to make landfall on Friday, it would be during the very late evening hours into the overnight hours. Here's the circulation as we go into Saturday morning. This is around 1 to 2 in the morning. So again, this is more of an overnight landfall. It'll be making landfall somewhere in North Carolina, probably near the Surf City area. And again, watch all that heavy rainfall. That's That'll be a big concern. We could get a little bit of tornado action right along the coastline near Maryland, maybe even the Carolinas. So watch that closely. Maybe an isolated tornado or two out of the system, and that is usually pretty typical out of tropical systems. Wind gusts will be peaking in the 40s for the most part as we go into Friday afternoon. Notice by the evening hours, wind gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour. We might see a couple areas get near 60 to 70 miles per hour if you're right near that landfall spot near Jacksonville and Wilmington, North Carolina. So again, monitor that very closely. One little thing I wanted to point out before we this forecast the long-term look at that little disturbance right now that's over in the eastern atlantic ocean with a 70 percent chance of development this is by next week again notice it does kind of trickle off to the north here it is kind of uncertainty or uncertain whether this will go west or off to the north obviously the better likelihood is that it will go off to the north and not impact any land but it will be something to watch for very closely as it continues to move to the west thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already